Hi there, I'm Jules from thestonesoup.com and today I've got another fresh six ingredient dinner recipe for you. Okay, so for the muffins, I've got four eggs in my jug here and then a can of cannellini beans that I've drained and I, I like prefer to use unsalted for these if you can get them, but it won't be the end of the world if they've got salt in them. Uh, then 50 grams of cocoa powder and two teaspoons of baking powder. And then I just need to get in my sugar. And if you want to check the um, US measurements, just check the written recipe. So we want 200 grams of sugar, which is, I know that's seven ounces. So 150 grams of oil, which I can't remember if that in ounces. So just check the recipe, but um, I weigh the oil rather than measure it with a cup, just because it's so much easier. If you don't have a set of baking of scales, kitchen scales, seriously, it's worth, if you like to bake, totally worth the investment. Okay, and then I'm just going to puree that with my stick blender, or you could use a regular food processor, or you can just mash it with a fork, but I like to get it nice and smooth so there's no beanie bits in it for my boys. Okay, then I've got my um, 12 muffin uh, papers with, and I've just grated my zucchini and divided it in between, so about uh, 200 grams or you could use carrot or um, I have used beetroot I prefer like cooked beetroot rather than raw or you could use um, parsnip as well is, is nice in these and then we're just going to carefully pour and fill up all the just divide the mixture between the muffins and just give it a little stir to mix it so you don't get big chunks of veggies in your muffins and the reason I do this separately is just because trying to pour when you've got bits of grated zucchini is really messy <laughs> and then we're just going to get them in the oven so when they're all filled in the oven for 180c 350f for 30 minutes okay so when the muffins have had half an hour in the oven just um they should be puffed up and risen a little bit and feel springy and they look good. So I just let them cool for a few minutes in the tray and then transferred them to a wire rack to cool, cool completely. So if you enjoyed this recipe, come on over to my blog. It's thestonesoup.com and you can download a free uh, ebook filled with simple recipes just like this one.